up beautiful people welcome once again to H and clothings and in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make different types of slits okay so I picked this tutorial because um, it connected to me in the sense that some time ago making this kind of slits never relaxed well at all okay and I know that some of us still have these challenges and yeah I want to show you the easiest way the most convenient way the way that you will get it right straightforward without making silly mistakes okay yes so if this is something you're interested in please do keep on watching and by the way we are going to be doing this on like a mock piece of fabric um, our patterns just like a, that means like on a small scale okay so because we are going to be looking at different types of slits I won't just come and do just one slit, okay? So, whichever one you really want to see, just leave it in the comments below. I sure will do it. Please be particular about the one you want to see. That's if you want to, me to create it, okay? Don't just leave it vague and be like, oh, create it. I will not be able to sew all of them. Just pick the one you want, okay? First off, we know that for slits, we have different types. We have the slits at the back. You have the slits by the side, we have the slits on the front, and each of these are still in varieties, okay? The back slits could be open, up, like open, something like what we can see on the screen, or we can have the one that overlaps, that's like, that's what we call like the back vent, you know? Just like what we can see on the screen as well. So whichever one you want to, me to do, just let me know in the comments below. We have actually done a pencil sketch on most of the sketches we've been doing on this channel are the ones that just have the like open back slit, okay? And usually for your back slits, like if you're making a short skirt, you want your slit to get to about four, no, not four inches. You want it to get to about five, six, seven inches at most from um, your knee. That's if the skirt is getting to your knee. If it's like a midi length skirt, it's like from seven, eight, nine inches long. Okay, that's for like a midi length skirt. And now, if you do like a high, like a full length skirt, your slit should start from like thirty-five inches from your waistline. Okay, so it it all varies on how long, how you want your slits to be properly opened and show off your legs, you know, everything is, everything varies. So you pick the one that works best for you. So by this little explanation, we have covered the back slit. If you want more videos concerning back slits, you can check these videos here. We've created skirts with a basic back slit. But if you want the more detailed one, on how to do a vent please leave it in the comments below i sure will put that out for you as well and be sure to watch you guys so please just watch it all right now let's go on to the cocoa of the matter by cocoa i mean the main body the reason why we are here because what we have trending now our front slits showing up beautiful beautiful toned legs beautiful skin Okay, so let us look through this list and see how to create them, how to avoid silly errors. Um, and yeah, let's begin. All right, guys, so I have um, mock patterns here. That's um, the front skirt of a pattern in a small scale. And that's what we're going to be using to illustrate this type, these different types of slits. I'll be very explanatory as possible, so let's do style one. So this is the front skirt of my pattern for style one. Remember that on your pattern, let me just draw my hip line. This is my hip line and my dart line is like four or four and a half inches from the front skirt of my, that's the front waist of my skirt my dart is just going to stop about five inches long which i have inserted here so this is my dart here please do the dart the same dart for um the other side let me try and transfer the dart as well so 
so i have the same dart on both sides of my front okay and this is my hip line now if i want to do the front uh, dart that's the one that is either on the left or on the right leg by the center that's not by the center here i mean just by the side here not the side seam but right on the leg right on one leg you want to do it on the dart you want the slit to fall directly on the dart so on this point here okay you draw a line there draw a straight line to the bottom of your skirt so if this was um, a short a mini skirt draw the straight line down to the length of the skirt either a full skirt mini midi whichever even if it's a maxi skirt draw the straight line down even if it's an a six pieces skirt an a line skirt this that line draw it down okay then also because you want um the dart here to be trim from your hip line you want to draw the line to meet up to that um that point at the top you don't want it to just stop here you want to take any excess so from that hip line draw a new dart to that um that initial dart where it started from now once you have gotten there the next thing you want to do is cut so you won't cut this dart here this dart you can either sew it or take it out on the side but for this dart you want to cut through so you cut through this way and you cut through this way okay So we'll have this like this for the front that okay then the next thing you're going to do is when you are putting your seam allowance you put seam allowance on the side here so like maybe half inch will be on the side then you put seam allowance right through this middle here you're going to be putting as much as two and a half inch here two and a half inch here then yeah maybe one or half inch depending on what your seam allowance is but the idea is that the seam allowance here should actually be much so that it actually even if you want to overlap it or you want to make it open it actually works well so let me show you what i mean i'm going to take another kind of fabric and cut this on it so that we can see it very well so this is the mock fabric we're going to be using for this skirt i'm going to open my fabric up like this so I'm going to place it right on top because it's just one piece. It's not going to be on your fold. You're going to pin down, okay? Pin, pin, pin round. Then place this to leaving enough space for seam allowance right through the middle there. So I'll just go ahead to pin. Pin the sides. Okay, just pin the sides. so from this part here this part that we have here you're going to be taking maybe like two and a half inches or if you want it one inch just from that edge measure two and a half um if you want it two inches i mean not one inch or two inches should not be less than two inches okay so you just measure it down two and a half i'm using two and a half for this pattern on the side seam i'll be using like half inch since that's the space i have there then i'm going to place my pattern so that it will take the other two and a half or pin it down i'll pin it down like this and then from this point i'll take it two and a half here two and a half here two and a half here two and a half all the way down okay then on the side to half inch so by the time we cut this
Okay, I'm cutting this one just half inch. Half inch. So what you're going to do is you're going to notch this part so that you know where that two and a half slit is starting from. Okay. Go ahead to remove your pins. And next, I'll now match this up. Right side, facing right side, along that notched part, like so. And then, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to be pinning this down, pinning it from the top, pin, 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 down. So you're going to be sewing just on the straight line, that two and a half inch straight line to wherever you want your slit to stop. So if you want your slit to, if you want um, your slit to stop just a little below the hip line, you stop maybe here. If you want it to go down more, stop there. But like it should be maximum, okay? It should be about three inches above your knee or on your knee depending on your it's just your preference at the end of the day is what will work for you okay so by the time you're done and you open it up here will be so neatly the back and everything the zip everything is looking all clean and you can decide oh i want this slit to be an overlapping one right or you want the slit to show off your beautiful leg like so then you can put a bow here like what we can see on the screen that's just it so you use your dark point to do the slit for style one okay so let's move on to the next slit that we have on here now for the next slit i have my front pattern okay still on a small scale the front pattern, I'm imagining that my zip is already at this back, okay? So, you would have sewn both front and back or on your pattern. Either you, This one can be done directly on the fabric or on your pattern. So, you would have sewn the sides. I'll be doing it on the pattern. You would have sewn the side, pam, 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 like that. Then, the next thing you're going to do is... You are going to now map out how high you want the slit to be all the way either from above your hip or just on your hip or below your hip that way then you want to now cover it okay so it's going this way okay and it's going all the way down to how I you want to just make an arc make an arc like so just make an arc if you want if you don't want it to show your leg here just make the arc uh, maybe a little lower so it's not going all the way to this part depending on your preference like I would say whatever works your fancy so let's go with this because this is exactly what we have so the lap is not showing as such yeah then you cut this this can be on your um main fabric or on the lining so if you do this right Please, then the next thing you're doing is you're going to go ahead, instead of the half inch allowance that you had put initially, you want to sew this place a little more tighter because you have cut it a whole lot so that it's going to hold firm. So you want to sew, especially this down part, maybe like one inch and um, narrow it down to that your half inch that you have up there. That's how you're going to be sewing it. So that it's going to be firm. Okay. And here you can still tighten it to maybe like half or three quarter inches that's how you sew it there 
so this part has to be sewn tighter not like tighter but more firm so that this part will not just be flogging around anyhow okay so this one will be for the other skirt that's the um side high slits uh -huh. so you see by the time you sew it it snatches up nicely and whatever design you want to put here you want to put by the side maybe some draping maybe some um um ruffle ruffling on this point whatever you want to do will work so beautifully yeah and this is style two for our skirts skirt slits let's move on to style three now for style three this is like a wrap an overlapping kind of um slit you know slit is like an opening just opening that kind of thing so this is like an overlapping kind of slit so what we're going to do is we're going to need a full front like what we have here this is a full front pattern now for this kind of slit what you want to do is first of all determine your midpoint okay so this is our midpoint let me just draw the line on our midpoint there that's your midpoint also you know this is like your dart okay let me just draw a dart for the skirt our midpoint and our two <coughs> dart for the skirt now what you want to do is you want to go ahead to remove the darts from the side okay or you show it whichever one works your fancy but if i were the one i would remove the darts because i wouldn't want the darts on a skirt like this on a slit like this now the next thing you're going to be doing because this is like a wrap kind of slit where you walk and it opens up you are going to be extending from the center front of your skirt you're going to be extending you can decide you want to make it get all the way to your um, side seam or just more than half. That's just more than this um, that maybe here for better coverage, you know. The more you extend, the better the coverage, okay. That's the better the coverage that your leg opens up. So imagine that this was our hip line here. This is our hip line. Now the next thing we want to do, so from here, we're going to be extending. You want to extend to maybe about 7 inches or 6 inches or 8 inches or all the way to your side seam. You extend to this point. So let's imagine we've extended to this point here. You draw another line there. So from that point, so from this new extension that we've got, we are going to now start doing our um we are going to start doing our we are going to start doing our slits from there so from here <laughs> sorry about the dog noise you can decide that you want the slit to start all the way from the top here and it's going maybe slanting 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 see they get to you can use your hands you can use a ruler you can use the curve whichever okay till you decide okay well, i want you to get to just above my knee so from there you want to try as much as possible to move as you slant to just above your knee okay there from there it goes down how you want it to however you want it to so it's coming through this hip point you know this is where um the center front will be you still want coverage on this center front you don't want to just cut all the way from here palm you want this center front to go below your knee so that by the time you are slanting it from here okay it gives you coverage on that part 
all right now we are going to be cutting this let's imagine this is what we've done we have removed the dart as well i've imagined that my dart no longer exists while i was cutting now for your fabric for your fabric this is one pattern you need for your fabric you're going to be taking two pieces of fabric like so okay place it right sides on right sides like this and then you want to um, place your pattern i'll be placing my pattern like this and just cutting out all the sides guys Ex of course put your seam allowance so the seam allowance needs to be included okay so now that i have opened it up like this now that i've cut it i'm going to now be placing this on this like so yeah and by the time you sew up, you know we put allowance, by the time you sew up this one and you sew up the one under so once you put this, you are going to be sewing the allowance up there and also, let's say the allowance here we have sewn this palm okay, looking all nice then the allowance here and you sew this one palm so at the end of the day, you'll be having something like this. That's if it was a short skirt. So you see, it's quite easy. Then you go ahead to sew the sides. Once you have sewn the sides, put your back, put your zip, sew it close. If you're going to be lining, go ahead to do so. And yeah, that's the slit. So when you're walking, it's open and looking all pretty. All right, so for style four, this one is when you have like a slit on by the side of your skirt. So normally your front and back skirts will give you full like this. It's going to be full like this by the time you've sewn the front and the back along the side seams. The state on the side could be that once you sew it, you're stopping at a certain level and you're going to be um, hemming this part in. So you have clean finishes around that edge or you cut a whole chunk of it off. So by that, I mean, you can measure maybe like one inch, yeah, from the side, like so. You measure like one inch from here and all the way to the, maybe wherever you want it to be. You can just curve it, curve it. And this thing, you can replace it either with a flare or you leave it that way. And you just sew it really down so that that part opens up. So this one means that I did it on both sides of the front. Well, let's do it on only one side first. You can do it on only one side. That means on one side where the back two is. So you're cutting both the back and the front on this side. So some laps are showing, some action is showing. This one could be an A line and this part is showing, okay? Or you can cut it on both sides and replace it maybe with a flare or with um, Dresses are usually made this way. So when you cut the trunk off, put a flare there and you have another style design. Or you leave it that way or you put illusion, you know. This chunk that you have cut off, you replace it with illusion, put sewing allowance and sew it back in together. Okay, so that is basically it. Whichever works your fancy would be nice. All right, so... We have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. As well as don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you actually learned one or two things from this tutorial. And yes, do not forget to subscribe as well. And till we see you in the next tutorial, stay safe. God bless you all. Bye.